Hello everyone, my name is Stealth Jacob, and welcome back to Pokemon Sword. Last episode we tried doing a Max, uh, Max Lair adventure, and we found Rayquaza, or Rayquaza, at the end. And we tried to defeat him, but we were unsuccessful, unfortunately. Uh, today we're going to focus a little bit more back on the sort of main story of the DLC, the, the Crown Tundra. So we're going to see if we can do some of the Reggie stuff. With Reggie Rock, Reggie Ice, and Reggie Steel. I'm going to uh, just fly over to Freezington. So let's take a look at the notes again and see what they say. Um been a little bit, so I don't exactly remember. Uh, far in the giant's bed lies a temple. There are strange words. Remains firmly shut. Okay, so these are sort of telling us little clues and also just um, like where they kind of are, I guess. Okay. So let's head out into the wild and see if we can find any of these things, and if we can do anything with them. Alright, let's get biking, because it's faster. Alright. I'm gonna check in this direction. I don't think we've really been over here, actually. Absol. Alright, so we already have one. Okay. So we've got ourselves. Oh. Oi, it's me, Peony. How are things, Chief? What's that? You found someplace runy looking? Uh, that's gonna be one of those places, you know, where the legendary giants are supposed to be. You see a door with a mysterious writing on it? I hear no one's ever been able to get it open. If all that's true, I think I'd call this particular adventure. The terrible titans lurking something away. <laughs> well, how does that grab you? Right then, Chief. I eagerly leave the rest of this research in your hands. Talk to you later. Okay, thanks, Peony. Alright. Let's see what the door says. Something is written on the door. Let ring the piercing note that will wake the giant of steel. Okay, so it's looking for a sort of sound, right? Ooh, a Pokeball. Ooh, Flash Cannon, that's a good one. Nice. Was there anything on the other side? So, I know there's not a lot of ways we can make noise. We can whistle. Like that. Oh, it worked. Okay. I guess, I guess that worked. Iron Ruins, we got... Okay. I think this is a little bit of a puzzle, I think. Do we just run over these things? Something changed in the air. What is going on? A steely power is emanating from the Pokemon statue. Do you want to check it out? Yes, please. Oh, hey. It's Registeel. Nice. Registeel's awesome. I like Registeel. Level 70, huh? Alright. Let's throw a quick ball. You never know. Okay, that didn't work at all. Iron defense, huh? Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna go for a brick break. Okay, good. That didn't do a lot, which is a good thing. Oh, that hurt. Alright, let's use... Let's go for a couple of brick breaks here. Uh, 
Okay. Yeah, legendary Pokemon are pretty difficult to capture. And we don't have the best team to catch stuff. We don't have anyone who's really good at statuses and stuff like that. Flash Cannon. Alright, Grimmsnarl's doing work, but he's low on health. Alright. Okay, Flash Cannon again. Alright, Grimmsnarl, good work there. Um, yeah, we're gonna use the next Pokemon. I have an idea. I'm gonna send out Colossal and do Smokescreen a couple times here. I'm not gonna use Flamethrower, that's a bad idea. But yeah, let's go for a Smokescreen, just to sort of slow him, uh, ruin the accurate- Oh, dang it! That didn't work. Hey, it was worth a try. I kind of want to try an Ancient Power, because his health is really low. And this should be resisted. Hopefully this doesn't KO. Let's see. Okay. It didn't KO. Uh, is this the point where we just throw a bunch of Ultra Balls at him? We don't have a lot. We only have 24. We do have timer balls as well, which might be good. But yeah, we'll see if we can catch this guy. I really want to. I want to catch as many legendaries in this playthrough as I can. But yeah, their catch rate is so low and stuff. Really difficult. Yeah, we'll just keep trying this for a while. Eventually, we'll start switching to uh, timer balls instead. We are getting a single shake every once in a while, though. Alright, there it goes. Those Colossal. I'm gonna go with... We'll go with Corviknight, why not? We're basically just trying to last as long as we can. If it gets to the point where we're unable to catch it and we're about to lose, I think I'll KO him. I think. I'm not sure how it works. I think we might be able to get him again if we do the KO him by accident. I think that might be a possibility. Uh, where are my... Timer ball. We have one Dusk Ball. <laughs> ah, okay. Must not have been very long. That didn't work. Alright. Go back to the Ultra Ball. Yeah, legendary Pokemon are quite difficult. You gotta get pretty lucky with them, which we're not currently. Ooh, we got a couple shakes there. That's good. Alright. We're doing our best. <laughs> this will do a little bit. Yeah. Keeps raising his special attack as well. That's a bit annoying. Luckily, he won't be able to hit Ruarigas with that. Hey! We got him! Okay, we caught Registeel. That's awesome. Cool. We caught a Registeel. I didn't think it would be done. Registeel's body is made of a strange material that is flexible enough to stretch and shrink, but also more durable than any metal. You're going to the box. 
Okay. You jotted down the current status of legendary clue number two. Uh, near where green meets snow in the giant's bed lies a temple where the giant of steel sleeps. On the temple's door, strange words let the ring out. When I whistled before the door, it opened and I found Registeel. Alright. Okay. Peony here. Haven't hurt yourself or anything, have you? Come again? You've gone and met the steel giant Registeel? Smash and work, chief. Now take that energy and go catch the others. Keep up the good work. Okay. Well, we caught Registeels. That's awesome. Um. Okay. I'm gonna fly somewhere. I kind of want to. I want to go back to Galar and see if we can find more Pokeballs to buy. Uh, probably not. I don't know where to get Dusk Balls. I heard those are really good as well. But I do need to buy more Ultra Balls too. I'm just gonna fly to Winden because that seems like a good hub area. <clears throat> but yeah, we caught Registeel, so that's sick. Yeah, I might as well buy some more Ultra Balls while we're here. Alright. But yeah, I didn't think we would catch them right away like that. I thought it would take a lot longer. Worked out pretty well, though. What do you got? Ultra Balls, thank you. I'm gonna buy a lot of these. Buy 50. We are a little bit low on money. Can I sell anything? I don't think I've sold much in a long time. We probably have a bunch of, like, useless things that we could sell. Not as much stuff as I thought we had. Do we not have, like, any nuggets and stuff? Or are they some? They must be somewhere else, right? I'm just kind of checking through my items. I haven't done this in a while. Oh yeah, we got a lucky egg. I forgot about that. But no... Do we not have nuggets in here? Okay, they might be somewhere else. Oh, this... Oh, here we go. Uh, Big Pearl will sell those. We don't need those. Stardust is, can be sold at low price, but we don't really need it. All right, let's make some money back. So at a high price, don't mind if I do. Ooh, that's a lot. Rare bones can be sold at high prices. All right, 30 grand, I'll take it. There's the nuggets. All right, we're making bank now. Oh, look at all the big nuggets. Oh, we're gonna make a ton of money. I don't know if the shop has enough money for us. How much will this be? That's a lot. <laughs> okay. Well, just made a ton of money there. Some pearls, we don't need those. All right, I think we're good for money for a while. All right. So yeah, where are Dusk Balls sold? I might look that up off camera. Here are the Quick Balls. How many do we have? 31. Let's get another 20 or so. Um, okay. Alright, we got some more Pokeballs there. I just need to find the Dusk Ball. I don't know where that is at. I'm gonna check a couple of shops, and then we'll probably wrap up the episode. Next time, we'll uh, focus on another one of the, the dungeon things, I think. Yeah, today we got Registeel. Next time we'll go for one of the other ones. Alright. 
But yeah, I'll figure it out eventually where they are. I just don't know right now. So I don't think they're in Winden. Let's try going to maybe like... We'll try Hammerlock, and then we'll try Moto Stoke. That seems like a decent progression. But yeah, I'm not entirely sure where they are, so... I'll have to figure that out. Do you sell Dusk Ball? Yeah, you do. Oh, here's the shop we want. Alright, let's buy, like, 40 of these. There we go. And timer balls will get up to 50. There we go. Okay, we found all the polka balls we need. So, yeah, I guess hammer lock is the place. Because, yeah, they have both dusk ball and timer ball, which is really good. I, those are both what I was looking for. Alright, let's fly. Oop, that's not it. We'll just fly back to Freezington. But yeah, that was a pretty good episode. He caught a legendary. Pretty sick. You can take a look at him in the box, see what his moves and stuff are. There he is. There's our Rotom, too. Look at that Rotom. He's pretty good. Ah, uh, Registeel. Yeah. Clear body ability, which, I think, which isn't too bad. Heavy slam... Okay, it's a weight thing, okay. I thought it was a defense thing for some reason. That would have been bad with all the iron defenses he was using. But yeah, uh, flash cannon's great. Uh, a charge beam's not bad. Not really sure why it's using it, but that's okay. Let's see, it looks like he's more of a special attacker, but it's pretty mixed overall. So, But yeah, there we go. We got Registeel. Alright. But anyways... That is going to do it for this episode of Pokemon Sword. If you guys enjoyed the episode, consider giving it a thumbs up. If you're not yet subscribed to the channel, you can click the subscribe button right here. But anyways, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. See ya!